What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know, you know the deal. It don't work without y'all. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys being here and being part of the show. So, um, Santa's here in his workshop, getting his shit together. And, um, whew, a lot to do. Got a whole lot to do. Okay, now it's Christmas and I'm trying to get it done. So bear with me. I love working because when I work, believe it or not, it gives me a chance to just kind of think of different things. And looking at the Dallas Cowboys right now, hang on for a second. stickers. They put the stickers, you can't peel them off. The only way you can get them off is to sand them off. I'm sitting here thinking about the Dallas Cowboys and their offensive woes. The offense has been struggling, as we all know, and everybody wants to point the finger at just Dak Prescott. It's only Dak's fault, and the only way to fix it is get a different quarterback. Well, that's easier said than done. But for me, I know that Dak is part of the problem, but he's not the whole problem. And sometimes there's an old saying that you got to live to fight another day. And that is something I think the Cowboys need to start thinking about. Let's be clear here. We can probably clinch the division this weekend, hopefully. Um which would be great. We're playing against the Giants team that has had a lot of turmoil, and they have literally packed it in. Daniel Jones, who knows if he'll even play anymore this season. Um, Barkley has been in and out of the lineup, but even when he's been in, hasn't been that effective. The team is bloated with salaries. They went out in free agency, and they've been shopping like crazy. And their free agents haven't paid off. Their draft picks have been, for the most part, you might as well say bust. They're in a bad way and basically need to be reset. Now, I know my son, Pizzle, is using this game and this opportunity to become a Cowboy fan. This is literally how bad it is. I realize Pizzle making a bet. He's like, if the Cowboys, okay, he wants to strap back. Okay, anybody can beat you. The Eagles lost to the Giants. I get that. And that's not to say that the, the Giants can't beat the Cowboys. I just don't think the chances are very good. But Pizzle is willing to bet him being a Dallas Cowboy fan versus the belt. And some would say, boy, that's a sucker bet. But in actuality, it really isn't. You know why? It runs in the family. So here's the thing. The reason I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan is because my father was a Dallas Cowboy fan. Growing up, father cheering for the Cowboys. I wanted to be like my pa. Michael Anthony, I never said to him, son, you're going to be a Cowboy fan or you can get out. Never did that. He on his own decided, I'm going to be like my pa. I'm going to be a Cowboys fan. And now that Pizzle has found out that I'm his daddy, he wants to be like his pa. He knows that this is the way that he can save face. He can say, oh, I'm only supporting the Cowboys because I lost a bet. Because think about it. He said, I'll wear Cowboys gear and I'll root for the Cowboys for the rest of the year. Really? See, he has an excuse 
to why he wants to see he, he really wants to be a cowboy fan but beyond that here's my case there's an old saying live to fight another day sometimes you got to realize that the battle is lost and instead of sacrificing yourself or your troops your body you're better off it's taking a step back saving yourself for the bigger fight you follow me save yourself for the bigger fight because here's the thing Zeke Elliott make no mistake about it Zeke when Zeke is on is dynamic Zeke Elliott, what he does goes beyond just running the football because his blocking is outstanding. But here's the thing. If I told you the last seven games, Zeke Elliott has averaged 3.5 yards a carry and 41 and a quarter yards per game. Let me say that again. 3.5 yards a carry and 41 and a quarter yards per game the last seven games of him being injured. I know he's got the blocking, but here's the thing. How much do you honestly believe that 3.5 yards per game is helping? I mean, three point yards per carry. How much do you think it's helping? Because that's what Corey Clement's doing right now. And to say, we want you to run against the Giants, a game that if you can't beat them without Zeke, then you don't deserve to be a playoff team. Because come January, middle January, when it's cold out, play first game, play first game at home, and let's say we get that win, you may have to go to someplace like Green Bay or Tampa. And late in the season is when you really need to run the football. And if you can't run the football, if we don't have a healthy Zeke for the playoffs, I don't know how far this team will be able to go. Yeah, it's great to say, you know, to be the warrior, I'm not coming out that you've got to drag me out. The reality is, it really shouldn't be that hard to drag you out right now because of the injuries. And as much as we want to say Dak has regressed, and let's be clear here. Everybody needs some semblance of a running game. Now, maybe we've got Tony Pollard back this week, but I'm almost on the, the thought of it's better to rest those guys now for a week or two and then play them some the last two games so that way they're still ready to roll healthier than it is to say, let's play them now and then rest them the last week. That's my argument right now. I say, Zeke, you're going to rest this week. We have the New York Giants, okay? We need you for bigger games than just the Giants. It's like Corey Komet. Let's let the young guy with the contacts that pop out. Let's let them play. Let's let them get some experience. And let's get you healthy. That would be my take on this because, again, listen, you got the Giants, you got the Eagles, you got Washington. You win one or two of those games, you've got the division flat out. We need Zeke in the playoffs. All right, y'all. That's all I got for you right now. I am. Uh, I got to take the dog. We got to take the dog to the vet and get get Simba squared away. And then I'm going to come back. And when I come back, I got a lot of shit here I got to put together. So we'll do a little live stream later. And tonight, Rio and Philly 500 are going to go at it. Yeah, that's going to be fun. I might live stream and just crash the party. I'll see you later. Peace.